Last night was the 2016 Academy Awards, and the winners were a mix of locks with a ton of surprises. Spotlight won Best Picture over the favorite The Revenant. Though it missed out on Best Picture, The Revenant didn't go home empty-handed. It won Best Director for Alejandro G. Iñárritu, Best Cinematography for Manuel Lubezki, and finally Best Actor for its star, Leonardo DiCaprio. The other big winners of the night, Best Actress went to Brie Larson for Room, Best Supporting Actress went to Alicia Vikander, for The Danish Girl, and Mark Rylance won for Best Supporting Actor for Bridge of Spies. For Best Adapted Screenplay, The Big Short won top honors with Spotlight winning Best Original Screenplay. Inside Out took home Best Animated Movie. Mark, your thoughts on last night's Oscar winners? I'm really trying to manufacture being upset about Mark Rylance beating out Sylvester Stallone for that Best Supporting Actor win, but I, I can't get too up in arms about it because, Rocky, that legacy has been sealed for decades already, and it was added to with the greatness that was Creed, but Mark Rylance was fantastic in Bridge of Spies, so I don't want to take anything away from that performance. And everything else, as far as the major categories, I thought were fairly predictable. I liked seeing Leonardo DiCaprio win. I thought it was well-earned. It was fun watching the ceremony, seeing Mad Max get all these more technical awards, then wondering, is that going to actually compete with the Revenant or Spotlight for the top honors? Seeing Spotlight win the whole thing, I thought was fair, as was the Revenant for the awards that it won. So, Christian, I'll turn it over to you first, because not only did you get to come over here and watch the Oscars with us for the later part of the ceremony. You also got to be on the red carpet working for Fandango for there. So can you give us just a little bit of insight into what that experience was like as a fan of movies like you are? Yeah, I mean, I mean look, Fandango Movie Clips, they sent me to cover and I was there and watching it as a movie fan. It's surreal. You can see all these people that for the work that we're talking about these movies all the time and movies that kind of blew us away and and you know that some of these, uh, even if the movie necessarily didn't blow us away, the, the uh, performance certainly did and there was a lot of these great performers there so it was it was nice to be there and then walking around on, on the show that I've watched every year it was it was it was great and we we talked to Henry Cavill and JK Simmons JK Simmons said that I, that both myself and, and and Dan the guy that I did the uh, interviews with had screamable faces so I liked that that very much so um, but that was great and then coming back here and watching the show um, I, there weren't many surprises and even because we were talking about it beforehand and even though Stallone I thought because he'd won so many, I, I was saying it, if one person's gonna beat him, it's gonna be Rylance, because that performance in that movie, which is an okay movie, um, he stood out, stole the movie from Tom Hanks, so I could see why he won for sure. Everyone else were, I think, kind of, who most people predicted and I think well deserved like there wasn't anybody who won that was predicted that I didn't think I like Spotlight I think Spotlight was the one that should have won and it did yeah I think this was the year that if you were doing an Oscar pool where you won or lost was the technical like or the best documentary short subject kind of awards Dennis you were actually the one person on this panel that had the foresight the John Schnepp like vision <laughs> to be able to see Mark Rylance beating out <laughs> Sylvester Stallone anything else surprise you about last night uh, I think Ex Machina winning best visual mm. effects not that it wasn't uh deserve just I thought one of the bigger movies was gonna take that one um, not that it was a huge okay before the show if, if you had asked me who was winning best picture I would put I would say the Revenant and number two I'd, I'd say spotlight however during the show the spotlight only won one award which was best original screenplay and throughout the night none of its other nominated categories won and so and there was no momentum leading up to it so at that point, when it was announced, it was a little more of a surprise for me. I will say the Leonardo DiCaprio winning uh, the Best Actor, even though pretty much everyone knew it was going to happen, there was still some tension there because everyone was thinking, and the audience and us included, as we we're watching, we we're wondering, what if he doesn't? Like right. we we're like, what if she uh, announces a different name? How are we all going to react? And then once they announced his name. Every, everyone here was clapping and yeah. cheering and, and it was like even though that was probably like a pretty foregone conclusion where there was still a little bit of apprehension on our part and it almost I felt took away from Spotlight's win in Best Picture because after that happened I think a lot of people were just like oh, okay and then and the, oh, oh yeah Spotlight won Best Picture by the way.
Right, so Schnepp, you were honking Mad Max all weekend. You were That's very right. excited about this movie. It did win a lot of awards, and as the show went on, it looked like it might be stealing some of those big awards. Were you disappointed that it didn't? You know, I'm not. I'm not disappointed that it didn't because I think you know George Miller is used to working with a great team of people, and that most of his team won means that he won. That his I was very happy that the best editing won. Margaret Sixel, that film is edited so tight and amazingly well. It was storyboarded incredibly well. All the sound design. Mark Mangini winning for sound editing and sound design. Just seeing all those kinds of costume design, all that stuff for the for that film to win all of those awards kind of almost makes it feel like it won Best Picture because it's just disassembling all the things that make a Best Picture and giving them Oscars for that. Mm -hmm. But then Best Picture actually gets Best Ensemble and Best Story. So it kind of worked out really fairly, so I wasn't angry at anything. Plus, those jello shots that Voika's wife made <laughs> were incredible. I think I had 10 of them. Right? Well, that that yeah. etouffee was really good. Yeah. The etouffee and the rice was great. I went full syringe on one of the jello shots. It's one of the many it's things on, you can check out on, on the Instagram <laughs> feed. And for more in-depth pontification about our overall thoughts on the ceremony, you guys can check out Collider Video's YouTube feed because we have our videos, our pre- and post-show recaps on there as well as the Instagram stuff in between. But if I can just get your gentleman's quick take on the entire Higher ceremony, Dennis. I want to start with you. How did you think the night went off as a whole? I, I think it went off great. I, I really enjoyed Chris Rock as the host. He's, he, he entertained me far more than the last several ones. Uh, I thought it was a bit longer, but at least the segments that they had to me were more entertaining than years past. So I, I really enjoyed this year's. Snap. Yeah, you know what? That Stacy Dash thing that was just incredible. Oh, oh man, my God. that was the only part I, no, did I, know, not I had care to bring that up because there yeah. was a couple of stinkers in there. Like, really didn't work. But I thought Chris Rock really helmed everything really great. He, he made it funny by making the really serious, like Oscars so white thing, making it funny and making fun of it so that we can all like breathe a little bit better and be like, yeah, it is kind of screwed up. Let's make sure we fix that. So I liked it. Yeah, I agree with you. I read some of the comments. I said, oh, it was too much. They did it too much. They had to be too much mm -hmm. for every, it's, uh, because he was announced to be the host before the nominations all that stuff happened so then he did he could have bailed on it and not hosted but he decided to stick through it and that was what he did and i thought that it worked really well i thought he was much better than he was last time um and i'd actually like to see him come back i'd like to see what what he can do again but the, the show itself for i think that the people who won deserve to win and I thought it was a pretty good show. Yeah, look, the Oscars is a celebration of all things movies, but it always is it kind of wants to deem itself more important than just about make-believe stuff that we want to make real issues and messages during this ceremony. I thought Chris Rock was the perfect vehicle to do that, whether you're talking about if there were going to be protests or whether it was an entirely whitewashed Oscars or anything involved with that. Chris Rock did it with such a great dose of humor that I think it pulled the message off very, very well. Seeing Leo give a speech about climate change Change during his acceptance. Mm -hmm. I, I thought that was a really nice touch as well. It didn't feel forced. It felt natural. Nothing about this ceremony last night felt like I was being beat over the head with a political message. I knew it was happening, but I enjoyed watching it for the most part. And I thought the Girl Scout cookies thing stole the night for me. So great job, Chris Rock and his daughters. Hey guys, if you like this clip, click here to watch the entire episode. Also, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel because it'll help you stay up to date with all the stuff we've got going on here at Collider.